If you had to guess, though, or if you had to theorize, why did why do you think Lou made that exception? Performing um, the song. Well, I think I mean, he had a... Uh, a soft spot for you. He that's did, and he... Well, I mean, that's the thing is, like, the work that I did with him and, you know, Laurie Anderson is someone I really admire as well, and I perform with them at a festival in Australia. Um, I think it was, you know, it was one of those things of, like, you know, you feel like someone sees you for the person that you are as a writer, and he really liked my solo work, and... Um, you know, I'm very happy to report in an era when I think there's a lot of stuff coming out about people that like is like nothing but very much of an amazing mentor and really respectful of me as a writer, you know, because you could be like, oh, it's that chick from Metric, like that synth player or something. And instead it felt like he recognized the writing and um, and that I was not like full of it. And a lot of people are and yeah. a lot of people succeed because they're full of it. And it was a really cool moment for me and for the band to be recognized by him for not being full of it. Yeah. I mean, Emily talks about that being a moment for her that, you know, you can be done now, right? Like yeah. mission accomplished. Jimmy, have you had a moment like that personally? Well, I mean, it was probably the same moment. Was it? Uh, yeah. yeah. Like we, were, we were on stage and, um, you know, I kind of started the, the guitar riff to Pale Blue Eyes and I, I like look out at the room and I look over at Lou and I'm looking over at the, the band and the, there was actually a band uh, with us on tour called Half Moon Run who are these amazing singers. All three of them can just sing harmonies beautifully. So they were on one side of the stage and they were all singing harmonies and it was just sort of like, yeah, it was one of those moments you look out and go, I not only never thought this would happen, but I'm not really sure what I'm supposed to do after this. Yeah. Do you feel, almost feel weightless in a moment like that just because of how surreal it's Lou, it's yeah. you guys, it's like yeah. Radio City, which you've seen on television for years. Very like, much. I, there's there's somewhere, there's like there's video footage of us going into the band room after the show, and I saw it years later, and it's like I don't even really recognize the four of us. We're like not on earth. You're somewhere else. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs>